It's very scary. Sharp and pointy. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to The Long Dark. We're gonna jump into a new story today. I got a little lost in the sandbox last time. Do Voyager, sure, why not? Mystery Lake, Coastal Highway, Pleasant Valley, Desolation Point. Let's try, uh, let's try Desolation Point. Can we go there? Hell yeah, we can. Slot name cannot be blank. I'll call it Let's Play. Wonderful. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down. Yes. Yes, it did. I remember it quite fondly. No, not fondly. No list of things to be done. The day providential to itself. The hour there is no later. This is later. All things of grace and beauty such that one holds them to one's heart have a common providence in their pain. Their birth in grief and ashes. Coric... Cormac McCarthy, The Road. Some, uh, some culture for you there. Look at this broke-ass bridge. Broke-ass bridge. Lots of head bobbing. Oh, it's called The Broken Bridge. I call it The Broke-ass Bridge. Uh, I see a, a residence of some sort over there. And the wind is whipping against my face. It is crazy as shit over here. So we need to get to, uh, to some shelter before we start for reason to death. It's the farm or some such? I'm out of stamina. Can't run too much. And it takes a long time to recover. So if we see a wolf or something like that, we'll be fucked before it even starts. But look how far we've come. Wow. So much farther to go. Come on, little jog. Little jog, you'll be okay. Climb over the snow. Is this a, a tree I can break? Nope. Hibernia processing. Fire barrel. We could start a fire. First, I want to check what this is. I need some treats. Oh, I can break down the cardboard box. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. This looks like a bunch of junk. Shelf, metal shelf. A hat. <laughs> I found a hat. And a sleeping bag. What's in this container? Give me something good. A couple sodas. Soda, that's good. I think that's all that's in here. I don't really want to break things down yet. Just look for some food. I need to keep on surviving. Keep on surviving. Don't fade into that long dark. What is that thing? A brightly colored thing in the middle of snow? A buoy. Wonderful. I'm sure glad we came over here. Cardboard box, no. No, no, no. We can break down the crates for reclaimed wood, which will be good. When we need to start a fire. A couple bungalows over here. I wonder if they are connected. Because there's a separate door for that other one. Oh. Look at that right there. Bandage. Antiseptic. Candy bar. Don't mind if I do, sirs. Um, metal bed frame. Metal door. Hunting knife to break down a pillow. Interesting. A sweater. It's a piece of shit, but we can rip it up. Hmm. Way back here we got shoes. Some accelerant. Won't bother with the crate just yet. Candy bars. Sardines. Not as good as candy bars. But still calories. And it's got like oils or some shit like that. Hooray! I could really use a light. Well, they are interconnected, but I can't see much at all. Antibiotico. Muy bien. Anything in here? Or here? Oh, how about mittens? People like mittens. Mm. Ah, there's a lantern. That's what I want. An orange soda. Now we got orange and grape soda. And a Sprite, too, but 
that's not as flavorful. Flavorful, but it is all kinds of fruits. No, it's good fruits. Helps you poop. I don't think this is like the greatest place to be, honestly. What the fuck is this? The dinosaur died here? Excuse me? What? Oh, there's an entrance. What were they processing over here? Meat? Just some meaties? Can I find some meaties? Whales, holy shit. Well, okay. We'll have a look around. Take some wood since it's already broken down. Can I go through here, maybe? Oh. You know, when whales come through this thing, they die, I think. It's very scary. Sharp and pointy. Oh, keep your sharp pointies away. Uh, what's over here? Nothing? Should pull out that storm lantern is what I should do. Uh, bag. Where is it? Where is it? The heaviest thing I have. Alright. Good. A little light. That's nice. Hello? Anybody in here? Cardboard box to break down. Oh my god. I hear creaking and shit. If they added, like, bandits and shit to this game, I'm going to shit everywhere. <laughs> Newsprint. That'll come in handy. Can be used as tinder. Yeah. And it's not too heavy. Workbench. If only I had some materials. Could use some firewood. Hmm. About upstairs. I don't want to burn this thing out. Oh my god, but it is so dark without it. Ah. Metal table. It sure is. Does this work? No. No, it does not. Give me the newsprint. We'll try and make this quick. Table. There was nothing in here, man. No foods. They cleaned it out good. Oh, there's some tomato soup. Check out this first aid kit. More antiseptic. Yes. Wool scarf. We can bundle up before we go back outside. Mm-hmm. Need a crowbar to open that lock locker. Mm. Haven't found one yet. I'm sure there's one around. Look in here. Scrap metal. Nah. Don't really want it. Mm-mm. And then searching each one of these drawers is time consuming, but also fun. Because you never know what's going to be in there. Found some beef jerky in a filing cabinet. Did they file it under B or J? <laughs> uh, that's funnier to me than it should be. Oh, what's that? Granola bar under the table. You sneaky sneak. Well, let's have a look in here, I suppose. And then there. Try not to fall through the floor. <laughs> That could be a bad thing. You could probably break your leg or some shit like that. Book. We'll burn it later. Alright. There was a door here. Leave warehouse. Well, shit. I guess I will. <laughs> I gotta unequip my, uh, lantern. Alright. Ugh, so cold! Uh! I should wear, like, a bunch of jackets for this. I could. <laughs> I was before I came in my house. Because it is nighttime and it is cold. Let's see if we can go up the road. I'm sure we'll have some good adventures over that way. What is this? A fish? Just a dead fish? Okay. We could eat it raw, but uh, I think I'll be happier if I'm able to cook it, and we do have the firewood and stuff. Just need to find a place, and I've got beef jerky and such, so uh, theoretically we should be okay for now. Ooh, it is picking up out here, boy. Let me tell you what, these geothermal storms or whatever, 
Uh, there's the Desolation Point Lighthouse. We should probably go have a look just for the, the funsies. Dang. Can't run too much. Don't want to lose it all, even though I basically did already. And there's lots of sticks and things that I would love to sit out here and gather, but it's just too windy. I'm far too exposed. And I didn't even bother putting on my, uh, my bundle of goodies that I found. Oh, there's a car over there. We can go look in the car real quick. And then we'll go to the lighthouse. Because we need to go this way and I assume cross that bridge. Or those two bridges. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. We're going to love it. Check the back seat first. Hello? Gloves? Cloth? Thank you. Front seat. Back seat. Front seat. Glove box. Ooh, antibiotics and grape soda. Take the parking brake off. <laughs> all right. That's all the fun that can be had there. Oh, look at all that stuff down there. Mostly boats. I don't know if you can scrap them for wood, but I don't want to risk going down there and not being able to get back up. Because the lighthouse probably is so warm and toasty, and uh, it's not exactly going to be nighttime, but I do have a fish and some delicious things to cook up for myself. And if you're surviving, why not just be happy? You don't have to push it too far, especially on day one. You don't want to just go out there and die on day one, do you? Heck no. Heck no. <laughs> uh, I don't want to die on day 30,000 whatever. How many years would you be? A hundred, I think. Around that. Oh, I'm so excited. I've never been to this lighthouse before. Oh, Canada. Wow, that flag got fucked up, eh? Because it's so windy. Flags get ripped up when they're windy. It happened when I was in the Navy. And we'd have to replace it every so often. And then they'd burn the old one. And I was like, isn't that offensive? And they're like, no. Not if there's a ceremony attached to it. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> but all right. Ooh, I found a fire striker. That is awesome. There's a stove down here, which could be good. Is that another? Yeah, another drawer. If I can find a sewing kit, I can really get to work repairing all of the stuff that I found and making it usable again. I could use this. More gloves. Up and up and up. Let's check it out. Hmm. A vest. <laughs> That's quite nice. I could see myself living in a lighthouse. Hell yeah. Cold cup of herbal tea. I'll take it. We'll warm it up, maybe. Is cold tea good? Yeah, iced tea. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sure even green tea would be good cold. Oh, don't miss that plastic container. It's got soda in there. Mmm! Summit soda. Taste the summit. Lantern fuel. Oh, that's useful. Candy bars. Candy bars! More lantern fuel. We're gonna get overloaded, I think. There's a lot of stuff in here. Dang! How about this one? Nope. Need a pry bar for both of those. Crates, crates, crates. Checked all this. A book. We can burn it. Used to be a source of knowledge. Now it's a source of fuel. Oh my. Can we light this thing? I can't see shit, Captain. <laughs> um, yeah. Get that lantern. We got plenty of fuel now. So equip it. We'll light it up. Oh wow. It's just the bottom. It's fucking gigantic. What? Yeah, let's have a, a look-see. Whoa! Whoa! More lantern fuel. I guess I don't need this up here. Wow, how do we light this? I guess it wouldn't be much use. Is the glass broken? Yeah. Shattered out. Ooh, a couple rifle rounds. Was somebody camped up here with a rifle? Must have took the rifle with him. Well. Welly well. Welly well well. Ooh, 
lonely lighthouse. It is so lonely. I can't see. I can't see anything. I really need to find a pry bar. We could uh, find more goodies. More goodies! Put my lantern right there in case I need to go back upstairs. That's fun. Oh, and there's firewood. How fortunate. Let's go on light it up. Light it up. Fire striker, is that like good? 64%? Oh, I guess that's its durability or something like that. Well, fuck it. Go for it. I got a, a fish that I found on the ground. And I want to cook it. <laughs> <laughs> How did it get above the the water? Like it, it, if the lake froze and killed the fish, the fish should be in the water. So this is like a witch fish or something. We'll burn it for its crimes. <laughs> oh, wonderful! Nice warm fire. Mmm. Yes. It's only got 12 minutes. Oh boy. How about uh, throw a couple reclaimed wood in there? Yeah, that'll buy us time, eh? Cook this up. Cook it up, cook it up. It's gonna be so good. Mmm. Mmm, fish. Got pork and beans, herbal tea. Let's get some of that herbal tea going. Two hours of daylight left. Yeah, this will have to be like a uh, bedtime tea or something. Oh, and we could melt snow as well. We probably should. Just a little bit, and then we'll have to boil it. How long does it take? Oh my god, it's gonna take way longer to boil it. Need more fire. Add some fuel. That gives an hour, wow. Okay. So we should be able to boil up our two liters of water. Yeah. That's nice. Is my tea cold now? Have I extended my bounds? Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Oh, yeah. Where's the tea? A cup of tea for you and me. Only 100 calories. 100, 100 tasty calories. Check this. And some socks in this cabinet that I can't properly see. I could put things in there, but I ain't gonna. I don't know how long I'll be here for. Oh, the sewing kit. Water purification. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. So, I'm gonna repair some clothes. And then probably go to sleep. So, you guys can let yourself out. Seriously, friends, thank you for joining me again for the long dark. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. Please join us next week, and we shall continue the adventure. Until then, friends. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.